Hello everyone, welcome to Illustrator. In this lecture, I am going to show you how you can import your analysis results of your uh, structural model to RCDC latest version. So uh, let me clear that uh, those who are using ETABS 18 and above like 19, 20, 21 and you want to uh, import uh, sorry export your data to RCDC uh, for, for design and detailing purpose. So uh, in this lecture I am going to show you how you can do that. So there are some modifications uh, there are some changes I have uh, already I have a old uh, video on the same lecture uh, sorry on the same topic but uh, there are some changes so I will be showing those updates in this particular lecture. So let's get started. So first of all, uh, as you all know that uh, you have to analyze the structure and you have to finish all the, you can say basic scaling and all everything you have to uh, do it if you're going for dynamic analysis. So after doing all the analysis part, after completing all the analysis part, then we'll be going for the uh, design and detailing, correct? So for that, after analysis, you can see it is a locked model. I will go to file and I will go to export and here I will go to uh, export ETABS uh, database tables to access okay and remember you must have MS access uh, installed in your uh, PC then only this particular option will be visible otherwise it will be in the third so you may not be able to access this particular option okay so MS access should be there in your PC so I'll just click on this and here uh, so we have this model definition analysis results and design data so design data we do not require design rcdc will be performing so first of all we will go start with the model definition so in model definition if you open the system data you can see we have this control data and tower storage and grids right so all the two these uh, uh, options these two options we require so i will click uh, uh, these two then i will open the property definition see you can simply click this model definition and you can check everything actually okay there is no harm but the thing is when you have a very huge structure and you are selecting everything uh, necessary or unnecessary one so in that case the file will be very large one okay so in case of sharing the file or using that file it will be uh, you can say haphazard so that's why uh, which are the things required for your uh, rcdc to uh, fetch the result from ETFs? those i am showing here so after that in property definitions we need the material properties obviously we need the frame section properties then we need the area section properties right and uh, then we need let me see area section properties uh, pr and spindle section properties also okay you check this pr and spindle section properties also okay fine then in load uh, patterns and definitions we need all the three so i will just select load patterns response vector functions time history functions uh, so whichever is there in your uh, you can say uh, uh, software that will fetch the result from that okay so all these three i have selected load patterns response vector function and time history function okay uh, then what i will do i will go to other definition i will open that from other definition if i open the group data okay here i need the group definition okay then mass data if you just open the mass data i do not require the mass data actually if i open the miscellaneous from the miscellaneous i need the peer level definitions and spandrel level definitions okay so in this mass data will be uh, will not be required and diaphragm definition and mass source definition will not be required so in the miscellaneous we require only peer level definition and spandrel level definition if if they are in your uh, you can say uh, structure okay so then rest of the things load case definition is required connectivity data required joint assignments required frame assignments required area assignments required now if i open the options and preferences from that this analysis options if you see any of these not required actually okay this analysis options we do not require this analysis options uh, then dimensional graphics preferences and color options if you want you can uh, select it actually okay so what you can do 
from these two you can select though it is not required just let it be but this analysis options any of the options are not required actually fine now in the miscellaneous data i require everything so i will just select this miscellaneous data then analysis results now open the analysis results and you go to this first if you see run information not required if i go to joint output i hope you can see in analysis results run information not required joint output if you go if you go to displacements in the displacements what i require in the displacement i require only story drifts so you select the story drifts okay in the reactions here if you open the reaction this joint design reaction i require okay i hope you know all the things why joint design reactions we require so these are the joint forces actually okay so here in the displacement we need story drifts in the reactions we need joint design reactions okay then if i go to velocity acceleration joint masses not required element output no doubt frame rec frame output we need area output we need wall output we need all from objects and elements if you open that also we need all so i'll just select this objects and elements you see area frame everything we need to select objects and elements everything we need to select structure output if i go there i will just open the other output items and i need only the story forces okay so these are the these are all we need to actually uh, require data required data to get the information in rctc from etabs uh, 18 and above okay model definition again i am seeing if you think that you do not want to select all this one by one you can select simply the whole model definition every data will be fetched and uh, you can you can you can just simply uh, uh, use it in the rctc but as uh, this will make your access database file a huge one when you have a huge structure like multi-story suppose tall building so that will fetch a lot of data and it will be like uh, you can say huge file so that's why to make it smaller whichever is required you select that only so these are the actually required data for the rcdc so you select those then you go to uh, load patterns so in load patterns you select everything this uh, live load reduction factor if you require i don't think it is required actually you select this load patterns only here okay and uh, after that or let it be whatever it is uh, if i go to here okay load patterns do not require it will be selected everything you go to load cases this is the require important one except the modal case because modal analysis is also you do not require okay we already got the forces in response spectra if you are anal analyzing the structure for response spectrum uh, load force okay so in that case all the uh, forces in the response spectrum load case we are getting okay so this modal analysis case is not required except that select all click on okay you go to select combos whatever is your design combos you can select this design combos also okay in my case i have some uh, you can say uh, other combinations also you can select but there when you are designing you have to select only the design combos so better what i will do if you are not doing the foundation design then these are not required actually okay in foundation design for sizing these are required so what i will do i will select only the design combination for now if you think then you are going to design uh, the foundation also like footing and all in in uh, rcc itself then you can go for selecting these uh, i can say service combinations also for now i am selecting the design combinations i'll click on okay and in modify show options program uh, determine base reaction location load combination results envelop and uh, mode shapes obviously we are not at all taking the modal results so just keep it whatever it is default click on ok and click on ok now it will ask you to select the you can say unit suppose i want to convert all this everything meter kilonewton and centigrade okay temperature unit centigrade i'll click on ok now it will ask for uh, you can say saving the file so what i will do i will just save it somewhere 
uh, let me save it in desktop itself okay so i'll just make a folder sorry new folder yes so here i will give it uh suppose uh, e tabs to rcdc model okay rcdc model fine so i have given a name this is the saving type is accbd dot means access database files okay so dot accbd access database so you just click on save now now you can see here it will create the uh, file so it will take some time so let us just wait for it to uh, you can say export all the data required for uh, rcdc to fetch the information of the elements and their forces so you can see uh, in this particular uh, status bar what it is doing now it is exporting the element forces for area shells okay So let's just wait for a few minutes. so here you can see now in the status bar it is saying ready so our access file is ready and it took a hell lot of time i think because we have uh, chosen the area uh, forces so it has taken the forces of all the area elements present in the structure but uh, it is what we need to do actually properly so uh, if your pc configuration is bad it will take it is going to take a very lot a hell lot of time uh, i have a quite good configuration still it took uh, almost 10 minutes so okay fine so after that uh, once our file is created now what uh, i will do uh, we'll go to the rcdc software okay so now first of all you have to click on this three dots to choose the file actually uh, you can say it has mdb file but uh, this mdb file is not uh, uh, you can say uh, available anymore uh, only if you are using the it has older versions then you will be getting the mdb file otherwise now it is access database file which is acc uh, bd okay uh, unfortunately the dot edb file doesn't work uh, i don't know why it is written here fine so i'll just click on here and i will I go to desktop where i have saved it in the new folder and you can see this is my uh you can say uh it has to rcdc file and it is almost 694 mb obviously it has taken a lot of uh, uh, information here some few things we may remove but i have seen that uh, sometimes when we remove area elements and all uh it it gives some error in importing so whatever is the process uh, uh you can say we need to follow i have showed here you can play with it uh, you can remove some element and you can check whether it is you are getting the correct one in the model information but remember in the analysis information whatever i have shown everything you have to take actually so i'll just click on this uh, etaps to rcdc model i'll click on open so now it is uh, opened uh, suppose i will open a column and wall as i have both the column frame and wall so i have uh, uh, taken column and wall in this model we have both frame and wall right so that's why uh, i have taken this model you can give some uh, project name suppose uh, etabs to rcdc okay then i will just uh, give i will write illustrator and here i will give my name okay and you can click on this create project so you can see all these column and walls are imported okay we will check for the beams also now remember uh, whenever you are going to uh, you can say uh, take the beam forces and uh, you can see it has forces in rcdc uh, your your beams in etabs should have 13 uh, output uh, you can say what it is called locations 
okay because uh, 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 stad will be designing or rcds will be designing the beams in 13 locations like stad also does okay 12 locations basically 12 13 locations so output stations you need to give 13 to this uh, all the beams so how you can do you select all, any beam you go to assign frame and here you can see you have a uh, option called output stations let me show you here output station let me just unlock it so, so you select all the beams select select uh, object type and beams select you go to assign frame output stations and you make it 13 for all the beams and click on apply after that only you analyze and you do the you can say process that i have done uh, earlier okay so in my model i have already done it previously so that's why i have not shown but you must do it first then you go for analysis and you export the result okay so i'll just go to rcdc again i'll create a new file i uh, know i don't want to save suppose i will give any name uh let us give uh okay e tabs to rcdc client i will write illustrator my name okay i'll choose the file and now let us see uh, the beams of any particular story maybe story 4 or story 3 yeah so if i have not done it earlier then beam forces will not be okay here beam forces are taken so that means i have assigned 13 output locations uh, here okay so you can see now my beams and uh, the locations of column and serve, column and wall are also important okay so these steps you need to follow to uh, export the data of analysis data of etaps in rcdc to perform the design edit link here okay i hope it will be helpful for you those who were uh, facing issues with the uh, wall import in i can say rcdc actually in the older version of rcdc just the previous version of rcdc there were some issues where the if you like if you see here any tabs i have matched the wall manually okay uh, uh, along the length so sometimes this uh, when we are meshing it like this way manually rcdc was not able to fetch the data even uh, the pi levels were properly uh, applied and remember one more thing if you want to apply the you can say get the data of walls your walls must have pr levels assigned okay so if you go to other assignments and pr levels you can see here every wall has individual pr level assigned from top to bottom okay so every wall has individual pr level assigned from top to bottom and you are if these PR levels are not assigned, then you will not get the PR forces and you will not be uh, uh, getting the PR uh, definition also. That means the structural definition or you can say section definition also of the wall. In that case, uh, walls will not be, uh, you can say, imported to or uh, you can say RCDC. Okay, so this need to be applied properly. So in my uh, previous case, what was happening that in the older version of uh, RCDC, even though uh, PL levels were correctly applied and I have this, uh, you can say, uh, manually meshed walls, it was not able to take it. So only when I have a uh, wall without meshing and I apply, suppose manual meshing, uh, sorry, uh, automatic meshing, rectangular mesh in the uh, walls then only it will is able to do it but with rcdc 23 this particular problem gone so you can if you are using rcdc 2023 then it will be no issue uh, it is working properly okay so please uh, i hope you it will be helpful for your uh, daily job and if you have any doubt you can always write me in the comment or in the chat box i will try to solve it as early as possible thank you and see you in the next lecture